Hey guys, it's Serge from Swiss Tesla Fan. So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to have a more detailed look at the speed sign recognition in uh, Switzerland. And uh, as it's the first update to contain these uh, speed sign recognition system, um, it's not perfect. And we're going to look at a few examples and we're going to talk about um, hopefully how it's going to evolve. Before I forget, don't forget to subscribe and hit the noti notification bell to get uh, notified when I release my next video. I'm a little bit more busy these days, so I haven't been able to put them out on a regular schedule, but I'll promise to do better. Anyway, thanks to all of you who've already subscribed. It really helps the channel a lot. And it's making it looking like we're growing more and more, and hopefully we'll reach uh, 1,000 soon. Anyway, let's get to it. Let's get on the road, and let's have a look at how these speed signs are recognized. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, so we're starting in a place where there's no signs. So for the moment it says 50, which is actually not right. I've started here in a 30 zone. Um, but here again, um, it seems like 30 zones are not very well registered in the, registered in the cards and the maps. Uh, so that's the problem. All right, so let's hear, see here we're going to get out of the uh, 30 zone. So on the left, there's a sign that says end of, end of 30 zone. And let's see if that pick, it picks it up. So yeah, you see that's the end of limitation sign. But it stays at 50. Okay, so here we're gonna get back on a road that is also 50, but we're gonna turn right away. Okay, so so one thing I've noticed that is sometimes it recognizes signs that are not speed signs as speed signs. In Switzerland, we have um, signs that are, can be round but that are not speed signs. So uh, maybe that's a problem for the car. So up here, you see there's another end of limitation. So after this speed sign, if it's recognized, we should be allowed to go to 80. So let's see what happens. So it has seen the sign and it hasn't changed the speed limits. You see, it's still at 50. So I'm not sure. Okay, now look here. There's a 3.5 ton sign and a uh, single uh, direction sign. So yeah, here also is a problem because crossing is always an issue. And you can also appreciate the beautiful view on the Alps here in the background. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on here. Okay, so look at this sign, 3.5. Let's see what it registers at. So it hasn't registered it on this one. So I see it sees that as a 40 sign. Let's see the one at the top here. What does it reg register that as? Yeah, and you didn't even see it at all. And now it says it's, it's 80, which uh, I think is correct. Now, here people don't realize that they're not supposed to cross easily. Okay. And now the 50 sign up here, can it see it? Yes. All right, so you saw that sign with the two arrows, the up and down arrow. Um, that one gets recognized as a 40 sign, and sometimes I get even weirder uh, recognitions. And here also, if you look closely on the left, there's somebody behind me, so I can't go too slow. But again, here, there's an end of limitation 50 here. That's not recognized. Oh, yes, it is. But then there's a 2.5. I'm not sure I've seen that one. No, that's good. All right. Okay, let's continue. GoPro, stop recording. Okay, so up here, there's this 40 sign that's up really high. So I'm wondering if it's going to be able to read that. See the bicycle. Yeah, I did see it. That's good. So here, there's again a round sign. Let's see if it uh, recognizes that as anything like a speed limit, or if it ignores it properly. It seems to me that even in the same debate, I'm not sure if it's possible for the uh, 
for the Tesla to download uh, new neural net uh, coefficients uh, without doing an update, but I think it might be because I seem to be seeing improvements in the uh, image recognition even though I'm not updating the uh, version. So here we're still correct, still says 40. Okay, so here we'll have again the same sign that's causing trouble, but there's a 40 sign just above it, so I think this works. Let's check. No, you see it's, it showed the 30 sign first, and then it showed the 40. So for a moment it is hesitated there, and there here is there's another 40 that's pretty high up. Um, let's see if it displays it, yes, but it's going to display something else behind it, like a stop sign, which is wrong. Okay, so we should get out of this uh, 40 zone soon. There'll be a, so there's a sign up here that still gives it limitation and then immediately on the left, you can see there's the end of limitation. So let's see if it picked that up. No, it did not. So here you see it still thinks I'm at 40, uh, but I'm actually uh, allowed to go 80 here. So that's why you hear it. Uh, so well, that's one of the nuisances now that, um, uh, there's the new system in place. It will scream at you for speed limits that are not correct. And now, as I've changed roads, it uses the map and it goes back to 80. <coughs> so I, the Tesla is going to have the difficult decision to to make to as to when you trust maps and when should you trust what the uh, speed sign recognition has uh, seen. So here again. There's no sign, so I can just go over here. Okay, so this area is uh, 80. So we're going to set it to 80, including with the autopilot. And watch closely what happens. Um, I think it's not on this sign, but I think it's on the next one. So there's a partially hidden sign on the right. And I think it recognizes that as a 60. And actually, we need to see what it says. So here there's no passing. And so here, yeah, you see? So I recognize that it's a 60 and it's putting the speed down to 60, which is wrong. I can actually still drive up here at 80. So this is a bit of a problem because uh, before the speed sign system, uh, it would use the map and it would have that correct. And now there's a big 60 limitation here, which it did recognize properly. So yeah, as you can see, it's, uh, it's by far not perfect right now. It seems that most of the issues are related to um, half-hidden signs or, or different signs that it doesn't know about. Um, and here also, so this one is, is more challenging because we'll be very far to the right from the end of limitation sign, but I think it still picks it up. Let's check. Yeah, there you go, there it is. Now the next one is pretty impressive because I thought it was a glitch in the system, but actually I had not seen the panel uh, properly the first time. And um, you'll see that it's, it's pretty difficult to see. So look on the right, there's a big sign uh, with a 50 limitation uh, right up there. Up there. And the car properly recognizes that one. So that's an example where the car does a really good job because here, if you can see here, there's a sign that's turned and it actually is a, a 50 limitation, but uh, there's a 50 that's uh, exceptionally uh, on there. And uh, so it's a temporary limitation. And in this case, the car does a great job. So, but here for some reason, it will switch back to 60. And I don't know why. Uh, let's have a look. 
Yeah, you see there? It switched back to 60 and it's not right because there's no sign that said, uh, at least not that I saw, I'll have to review the video. So if I, if I review the video and I see that 60 sign, maybe it was on the left. Uh, I didn't see it, but I always stay at 50 here anyway because it's, it's just 50 from this some point on. So it makes the most sense. Anyway, so that's it for um, the glitches I've noticed. I mean, I've noticed others, but most of the glitches that I've noticed on small roads. Um, apart from that, the system is still promising. I'm pretty hopeful it will get a lot better. I mean, uh, we've seen that uh, as the cars are on the road and that the data set gets larger, uh, it gets a lot better. I'm assuming, so here it's gonna stop because the light is red. Uh, which also works pretty well um, when it can properly understand which light is relative to uh, which line. Um, so here I just tell it to go through. So anyway, yeah, so that's it. Uh, we'll have a next uh, look uh, at the behavior on the highway, which is a little bit different. Um, I think it's not active actually. So we're going to have a quick look at that and then we'll go to the conclusion. All right. Okay, so we're here on the highway now, and uh, we're gonna come to an area where the speed limit is 100. So we'll see if that picks that up. And just after that, there's um, some uh, road work going on, and the limit goes down to 80. So we'll see also if those it picks up those signs. Um, and uh, well, yeah, so there's a hundred speed limit here. So it's one of these speed limits that can change. So let's see if it registers on the screen. No, it does not. But the map does have this change to the speed limit of 100. So uh, it does make you change to that. Now, uh, let's see if the uh, speed limit it detects for the 80. So this is like a temporary sign. It's quite small. And I think we won't see it either. No, nope. no, we don't see it either. Be quiet. And here, there's another one and it doesn't see it either. So I am think, uh, if I understood correctly from uh, Elon Musk's uh, tweets or somebody's tweets I saw, that currently, and look at the beautiful view up here uh, of the mountains, uh, the Alps. And so I think that basically uh, right now, a speed sign recognition is for some reason not turned on on the highway. I am not sure if it's a limitation that the car cannot do it. So here again, an 80 sign and we are not going to see it on the map no so i don't think it's i don't know if it's a processing issue but i hope not because it would be worrisome if uh, it could not do it uh, but i think it's somehow just not activated uh, for the moment so that's it for this part uh, there's another sign here let's see if it recognizes that one but pretty much sure it doesn't oh yes it did actually and that's just as I would got out of the um, autopilot. That's interesting. Okay, so we're just gonna test something quickly because I was uh, in automatic and I mean in autopilot and it didn't recognize the signs, but now I'm in full manual. Let's see if that changes anything. Uh, there's a hundred speed sign coming up and let's see if it recognizes that. Oh yes, it does. Okay, so it does have something to do with the uh, the activation of the autopilot, it seems. That's weird. I would expect it to display those signs even if the uh, autopilot was on. So maybe that's the limitation. Okay, well, we finished the highway test and uh, now let's uh, conclude a little bit about this update. So uh, basically, uh, on some signs, it seems to recognize them very well. Uh, even some of the uh, temporary road work signs worked well. Um, what we did discover is that on the highway, when we activate autopilot, uh, it seems to not want to show the signs. I'm not exactly sure why. If I turn it off, it then comes back. Uh, we also saw that some signs are clearly not recognized properly, uh, and hopefully that'll get better, uh, especially signs that were not uh, completely visible, so uh, we'll have to see how that evolves uh, in future updates. 
So anyway, it's great to have this uh, speed sign recognition finally. Uh, hopefully it will get better. And um, that's it for this video. If you liked it, make sure to put a thumbs up. And remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified when I release my next video. And if you have any questions, uh, make sure to put a comment below. Or if you have any feedback, I always appreciate it. Thank you so much. And of course, if you're interested in, in buying one of these great cars um, that are really getting better now, um, I highly recommend you use a referral code. Uh, you'll get 1,500 kilometers of sweet supercharged electricity. And if you use my referral code that I put in the description, uh, I will also get the same. So it's always appreciated. And thank you, everybody who has already done that. Um, uh, that's great. All right, uh, so see you in the next video. Bye-bye.